As we go through this, I will be going through the notes quite quickly. After each slide, I will remind you, but feel free to pause the video at any time if you need a few more minutes to finish catching up and finish writing down the notes. So here we go. So we will begin with the definition and the equation. So photosynthesis is the process that plants use to convert the light energy from the sun into chemical energy. The purpose of photosynthesis is to make food. All the plants that want to do is make food, which is glucose for them. Okay. Now, photosynthesis can be affected in terms of the light, the temperature, the amount of water, the carbon dioxide that they receive. It takes place in the chloroplast. So if you recall from our last unit, chloroplast is only found in plants. Therefore, photosynthesis only takes place in plants. Now, plants are also considered autotrophs okay, or producers because they make their own food. Okay. Here's the equation for photosynthesis. If you take a look at this equation, you can see that we start off the equation with sunlight, carbon dioxide, and water. So plants need all three of these things in order to complete photosynthesis, okay? And again, their goal is to create glucose, which is this C6H12O6, and in the process, they release some oxygen, okay? So what we started with is our reactants. So all of these, sunlight, carbon dioxide, and water, are considered our reactants. We end with our products, which is glucose and oxygen. Okay. If you need to pause the video, feel free to do so so you can finish copying the notes. Okay, there is nothing to write for this slide. Okay, this just provides a quick overview. So essentially, in photosynthesis, energy from the sun is taken in by the chloroplast. Okay, along with that energy, the chloroplast also takes in carbon dioxide and water in order to create sugar. And in the process, it also releases oxygen. Okay. Now, here is the structure of the chloroplast. You do need to understand the different components of the chloroplast. Okay. So take a look at the figure on your paper and on the screen. Okay. You can see the chloroplast is a double membrane structure. So it has an outer membrane and an inner membrane. Okay. Now, just like a cell has cytoplasm, okay, the chloroplast has stroma. So that's the jelly-like substance in the chloroplast. Okay, so once again, the stroma is very similar to the cytoplasm. So it's like cytoplasm is to the cell, just like stroma is to the chloroplast. Okay, inside the chloroplast, you'll find these little discs, as you can see in the image. Okay, each disc is called a thylakoid. Okay, I think of a thylakoid like one plate, like one dinner plate. Okay, when you have a stack of these thylakoids like this, that's called a grana, okay, or grana for multiple stacks, okay. I think of that as a stack of plates, okay. These three words are very important for you to understand, okay. So make sure you've got this written down in your foldable. Again, feel free to pause if you need to. All right, photosynthesis has two parts. The first part of photosynthesis is the light reaction. Okay? It is also called the light dependent reaction because it requires light and it depends on light for this reaction to take place. Without light, this reaction will not take place. Okay? In this reaction, energy from the sun is taken in by chlorophyll and it's converted into stored chemical energy. Okay? And this chemical energy is called ATP. So essentially that light energy is converted into ATP, which is our energy molecule. Okay. And this reaction takes place in the thylakoid. Okay. So one of those discs or one of those plates. So essentially in the light reaction, the plant takes in light and takes in water. Okay. Those are the reactants. And it does the reaction and produces oxygen, which gets released, okay, and it produces ATP, which is that energy molecule. And the reason it produces the ATP is because the next reaction, which is our dark reaction, requires some energy, okay? And just remember, this reaction requires light, okay? You cannot have this reaction without light. If you need to pause, pause the video right here before moving on. 
All right, the next reaction is the dark reaction. So it's the opposite of the light reaction. So it does not need light. It is light independent, okay? And it is also known as the Calvin cycle. You do need to know all three names because all three names are used quite interchangeably throughout biology, okay? In this reaction, okay, this is where glucose or that sugar molecule is made, okay? So here, the plant takes carbon dioxide, okay, and the ATP from the last reaction and creates that glucose or sugar molecule, okay? Again, ATP is used to make glucose. This takes place in the stroma of the chloroplast. So all of this is still taking place in the chloroplast, just in a different location. So this is now happening in the jelly-like substance in the chloroplast, okay? The reactants, or what we started with in this reaction, was ATP, so that same ATP that was made in the last reaction, and CO2, okay? And at the end, it produces glucose, which is sugar, okay? And again, this reaction does not need light. Okay. If you need to pause the video to finish writing, feel free to pause it right now. Now we're gonna recap some important vocabulary words, okay? So here we go. The first word, again, to recap is the stroma. This is the region outside of the thylakoids. This is that jelly-like substance. The thylakoid, right, is the site of the light dependent or the light reaction of photosynthesis, okay? The granum, okay, are stacks of thylakoids, okay? So when you have a whole bunch of these thylakoids put together, they make a granum, okay? Or granum for multiple stacks. Chlorophyll is that green pigment, okay? Chlorophyll is what makes the plant, makes the chloroplast green, okay? But chlorophyll is also a very magical compound. This is the compound that can actually grab or absorb that sunlight and start that light reaction. Okay. And the last vocab word we've got for you is autotroph or producer. Okay. They're, they're used very interchangeably and they both mean the same thing. It just means that it's an organism that produces its own food okay, using photosynthesis. So plants are considered autotrophs or producers because they make their own food using photosynthesis. If you need to pause the video, feel free to do so right now before we move on to the last little bit. All right? This provides you with an overview. So this picture will be either on the back of your foldable or on the back page of the foldable. Okay? So take a look at this picture and fill in as I walk you through. Okay? This picture will cover everything we just talked about just in one, one page and kind of summarize everything for you. So if you look top left-hand corner, Photosynthesis takes place in the plant cell, okay? Plants have chloroplasts, so if you look on the bottom left-hand corner, this is taking place in the chloroplast. So this kind of oval circle looking thing you see, that's the chloroplast, okay? So the reaction begins over here by the plant cell where light comes in, okay? So you're gonna fill in light, okay? Along with light, the cell, plant cell and the chloroplast takes in water. So here are your two reactants for the light dependent reaction. It's light and water, okay? Both of these are brought in to the thylakoid, okay? So if you can look in the back, you can see in the picture, there's uh, a stack of thylakoids or a granum in the back, right? Both of these come into a thylakoid and go through the light dependent reaction. Once this reaction is over, oxygen is released down here, okay? It's just released as a gas and ATP is created, okay? That ATP then gets entered in to the Calvin cycle or our light independent reaction, okay? So ATP now becomes a reactant into this reaction. Along with ATP, the light independent reaction also takes in carbon dioxide or CO2. So ATP and CO2 are the two reactants for this reaction. And if you look, it's taking place in the stroma. It's not in a thylakoid, but it's in that jelly-like substance in the chloroplast, okay? Both of these come together and you make glucose. And glucose is that sugar molecule that plants want to make, right? This is the food that the plants have been trying to make, okay? And that summarizes 
all of photosynthesis. So very quick and easy.